So let's start and let's add some numbers to our dice right here. So we're going to start off, let's start off with number one. There's my one. There's my one. Let's start off with number one. Let's put number one on the top. How do I know which side's the top? Well, I've got my view cube right here. Now that I have an actual 3D object, this makes a little bit more sense. So I can look at the top of it. I can rotate it. I can look at the side of it. I can rotate that. If I want to look at it at an angle, I can click on these little corners, on the little sides right here. So it just so happens that this is a cube and this is a cube. This one up here in the corner will always be a cube. This is whatever we're making. So let's start at the top and let's draw our, what are we drawing here? We're drawing a three millimeter diameter circle right in the center. So coming over here, we want to draw a new circle. So again, we're going to start in a two-dimensional and then bring it to three-dimensional. So we need to start a sketch. Now watch what's going to happen when I start a sketch right here. When I click Start Sketch, it's not doing anything. What it, know, what it wants is, hey, where do you want to draw a sketch? The computer doesn't know. So I click Start Sketch. I can pick this plane, I can pick this plane, I can pick this plane. We're going to pick the top. So I want to draw on this face right here. So this is like if I took a dice and I took a marker and said, hey, where do I want to draw? I want to draw right there. Bam. Because we've already lined it up with our origin, our origin is going right through our dice right there. So we know exactly where that middle point is. That's excellent. So we're going to draw our three millimeter diameter circle. So I'm going to go to my circle tool, bam, click it. The way the circle works is the first click is the center, so click once, let go, move mouse, come over here. You can see before I click again, uh, it says 9.027, I don't want that, I want 3. So I'm going to click 3 and hit enter. Now I have a 3 millimeter diameter circle. Excellent. All right, so I'm good with that. Now, you'll notice my circle button is still activated. My mouse is still a little crosshair. I can still draw more circles, but I don't want to. So I want to get rid of that. And there's two ways to kind of get out of that to go back to your regular mouse. One is if I right click on my mouse. So if I right click, it's going to bring up that menu. And I can just move over and hit OK and that kind of gets out of it. The other way is if I'm drawing a circle is if I hit escape on my keyboard. If I hit escape, it's going to go back to my regular mouse. Um, I don't want those. I'm going to delete those. So I've got a circle. Excellent. Now let's say I don't want three. Let's say I messed up and I really want it to be seven. Well, this has what's called a dimension on it. So the dimension is this little line with the measurement right there. So if I wanted to change that, I can just double click it. Double click. Hey, edit dimension D4. Every time you make a dimension, it gives it a name. This is the fourth dimension I've made, so it calls it D4. All right, so let's say I, I messed up. Let's say I wanted it at seven, or 7.25684. Hit enter. Boom, it's automatically going to do it. It's going to round it to whatever it's set to round it to. I can also, it's, since we're in metric, it's going to default to metric, to the millimeters. But let's say for some reason I wanted this to be a quarter of an inch. I can put 0.25 in. All right, so that automatically changed it to millimeters. So 0.25 inches is 6.35 millimeters. Or I can do 1 over 4 inches. Fractions work also. I don't want that though. I want three. Three millimeters. All right. Excellent. So I started my sketch. I drew my circle. Come over here, finish your sketch. Now we have just a circle on a cube. This circle has no depth to it. It's just a flat circle on our cube. So we want to actually give it some dimension. So what we need to do is go back to that extrude button. 
So when I hit extrude, now it's probably going to guess like, hey, there's only one thing I can extrude. It's probably that circle. So I can come over here. I can, you know, if I wanted to have it stick out, I could. If I wanted to go down. So now I've got some more options. So if I made this go all the way through, what it just did was it just made a hole all the way through here. So I want to go down, but I don't want to go down too far. Let's just go down one millimeter. So I could try to get this close to one, but let's be exact. Let's just come over here and let's click one and hit OK. So now look at that. I've got a one millimeter deep three millimeter diameter circle right there on my one. Cool. So we've got a one. Hooray. Now let's make a two and a three. So let's rotate and draw a two on a different side. So I'm going to look at my dice right here. I see a one and a two are right next to each other. So I'm just going to pick any of these four faces that are around it. I'm just going to pick this one right here. So let's do that process again with our two. Start sketch. Where do I want to draw? I want to draw on this face. I want to draw two circles that are three, three millimeter. So click once on my circle tool. Come over here, click, move, click, or click, move, put three, enter. Over here, click, move, three, enter. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Now I've got the two, and they're just on there. They're not anywhere in particular, but we want to make it look exact. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to come over here to my drawing. I've got my square right here, 16 by 16. I've got one here. I've got one here. So let's pull out my calipers and see how far away I need to be. So I'm going to go from that center very center of that circle, so that very center point right there, to the edge. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to look at my calipers, and I can see there, right there, four millimeters. So I'm going to come up four millimeters up, four millimeters over. So from this center point, not the edge of the circle, but the center, to that edge is going to be four millimeters. And the same thing, center point to the top, is going to be four. Same thing from here, here to there, here to there, four, four. So let's come back to inventory. Let's see here. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to make these two in exactly the right spot. So what I'm going to use is this dimension tool. Anything you, anytime you want something exact, use the dimension tool. So dimension, and I want to go, I'm going to zoom in, from the center point. So click on that to the edge. Click on that. Move your mouse. You can see that right now it is set to 3.8. 3081182 millimeters. This is just where I happen to put it. But I want it to be exactly 4, so I'm going to type in 4, hit enter. You'll see it shift over a little bit. Boom, perfect. Let's do that again. So dimension, center point, click, top line, click, move your mouse, click, 4, enter. Boom. So now it's 4 millimeters over, 4 millimeters down, perfect. Come over here to this other one, do the same thing. From the center point, not the edge, but the center, click, 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 four, click, click, and click, four. All right, so I've got my two circles. They're all nice and lined up. All of, everything's the right size. I'm going to hit finish sketch. And you see that kind of brought it over to our little zoomed out view. So I want to extrude those in there. So I'm going to use my extrude tool. 
Now, you'll notice this time, because I have more options of what I can extrude, I can extrude you know, this, I can extrude that, so I could that, or that, or that. So what it's saying now is I don't know what you want, so you know what do I what do I need to extrude? So let's click on this circle here. Let's click on this circle here. And if you accidentally click on something else, you can just hold down shift on the keyboard and click it again. So I've got those two. I want to go in and I want to go in one millimeter. One millimeter, hit OK. Cool. So now I've got a one and a two. A one and a two. All right, cool. Let's come back and do our number three right now. So I've got a one, I've got a two, and I've got a three right there. So my one, two, and three are all touching each other right there. So let's put it right here on this face. So let's put my three. Yeah, wherever you want. Right there. Let's put it right there. So start sketch. Click. So this is going to look just like R1 and R2 put together. Now you might be thinking, hey, can I just copy and paste it? You can copy and paste in Inventor. It's not the easiest thing. Sometimes it's just easier to just do this from scratch. So circle. Right here. So we just made some three millimeter circles. I'm going to use my dimension tool. So this one already had that middle point. And that's actually why it's a black circle instead of a purple one, because it's constrained. It says, hey, you wanted this in the middle, so I made it in the middle. The other two, we need to make four millimeters from the edge again. So we're going to do just like we did with the two, the center point. So dimension tool, center point to the edge. It's four. Center point to the top. And you can see whether I put it down here or up here doesn't matter. You're the only one who's going to see that. Just somewhere where it's not in the way. All right, so there's my three. Finish sketch. Extrude. Now I've got one, two, three. And I want to go that way. And I want to go one. It's already there. Perfect. Hit OK. Excellent. So look at that. I've got a one. I've got a two. I've got a three. So the next step is we're going to make a four, a five, and a six.